Well, this year, some of the hardest decisions residents and city leaders in the Coastal Bend had to make were all because of Hurricane Harvey. Well, tonight, a special report focusing on the city of Ingleside. Action 10's Bonnie Sol Gonzalez found out what city leaders learned about the lessons of this storm. Bonnie Sol? Absolutely, Drew. In the city of Ingleside, city leaders will focus on improving city services and communication. I think it would be very hard to even prepare for something like this, even if you were completely prepared for a storm, because each storm is different. Pedro Adame, Ingleside's emergency coordinator, followed protocol. Once the storm passed, he learned valuable lessons. One of the biggest uh, things that I think that we should have had in place was a hand, hand radio uh, communication so you could they, people could call in. Adame says he relied on a PA system but two-way radios would have made it easier to communicate with staff. He says generators would have helped speed up some city services. One of the biggest challenges that I saw that we need as a city is have uh, prepared our lift stations and water, water stations where we could have um, hookup generators. Instead of having to run hoses to run your lift stations, have a connection where all you do is hook up your, your generator and it would be less, less manpower on your guys. Mayor Luis Lama says stocking up on essentials like hand crank radios and batteries are important. As for the volunteers, if we get an idea of the volunteers ahead of time in the event of, that's going to be so much, you know, they, they can coordinate and so on. So at the moment of the event, when everybody was showing up, that you could have the volunteers and they already had their task in hand. When it comes to finances, the city of Ingleside sets aside 25% of operating costs for emergencies like natural disasters. Before we have matching parts with FEMA, you know, there's a 90-10 in place, so we'll have to come up with 10% of the, of the debris removal cost, uh, whether it's the uh, construction, demolition, or even the green debris removal, so it'll go toward that. Timothy Koff is a resident that waited till the last minute to evacuate. A mistake he learned the hard way. Um, our house, the roof completely gone, flooded out, all the furniture was ruined. The biggest lesson he learned is to trust other people during a time of need. You really can't lose hope. I mean, I was quite surprised you know, how, how well everybody came together and everything, helping people out. A lot of good information there. Well, next week, join us on Tuesday. We'll take a closer look at the city of Rockport, followed by the city of Port Aransas.